Nihon YouTube, what's going on? Zalan to China. Today we will have a look at this very nice gaming console I just ordered from Chinese Taobao. I'm living in China for around four years already now and uh, it's time to check out another gaming console. This one has another I think around 500 games and we will do the unboxing and review now. Wow, look at this. So the first thing we can see here is actually a translation of uh, all the games. So uh, you can see here the Chinese is translated into English. This is pretty nice that they, they send a list like this. Uh, we will have a look at the games in a while, but first let's continue with the actual unboxing. So, let's see what we can see here. Okay, there it says this is one cartridge, uh, 400 games in one. The cartridge looks actually pretty nice. It's kind of uh, blinking here, but uh, it is compared to the standard NES and SNES uh, cartridges and also the N64 ones. It is very very light. It's not heavy at all. So we would see that. And then there is another cartridge. Let's see what this one says. 29 games in one. Okay. Looks funny. Can you recognize any uh, familiar games? No. I can't. At least I can't. Okay, so what else do we have here? AV cable, still the old technology, right? Uh, still no HD for this consoles, but it's pretty good. I never had problems with any of the graphics. I will show, to, show you how to switch this on, how to put this on your TV in a minute. Then we have another cable here, I guess this, uh, I have no idea, this might be for the electricity. And yeah, uh, that's basically it. So yeah, there we go. Uh, it looks actually pretty nice. This is what it looks like. And uh, if you are looking for uh, a console like this, uh, this company is basically the most famous one for the NES and Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced video games. And I will show you, uh, uh, I will give you a translation of this in a minute. If you want to look for original uh, Chinese gaming consoles in the internet, I will show you how to write this. And you just put this on Google or wherever you want to buy something, Alibaba or uh, Taobao and then you can order this because uh, very often those uh, Chinese vendors they don't have uh, the description in English so you can look up this word and order this nice stuff. So this company is actually already uh, 30 years old as you can see here. It's very famous and uh, I know this brand. I basically play all of my handheld games uh, from this company and you can check out my reviews about the uh, M100 and uh, that was pretty good, that was a pretty good one. So uh, what do we have here? Can we see that? Uh, I don't know this game, it's just plugged to the TV and there is basically uh, two player joypads. So it's for two players, that's pretty cool and you have to plug this one on the TV, it's not portable. So let's check it out, it's actually really small uh, I thought it is bigger. It looks really small actually. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. So this thing here is really light. It's like a it's like a piece of like a chocolate bar, like a bar of chocolate. I guess maybe 100 grams. Now look on what's written here. Actually, something written in Chinese. It's pretty long. It says power here, okay, and this is the reset button. I have no idea what is written here. I will check this out in a minute. 
and this is probably where you're supposed to put your cartridge um, that you put your plugs and the electricity video game system you put your joypads here and yeah that's basically it really really light uh, it appears to be really <laughs> cheap quality but this is actually I think a great gaming console we will check this out you got a manual here which basically tells you where to plug what it's all written in Chinese so let's forget about this Oh, so what do we have here? Another cartridge. Look at that. Beautiful. You see that? Uh-huh. Uh, okay, there we can see Toad at least. I wonder how many games are on that cartridge. This reminds us of uh, the Mario logo. Okay, we will see about that. This will be a big surprise. And uh, yeah. There we get another set of uh, AV cables. I don't know why they put so many, but this one is apparently longer. So this is pretty cool. Uh, they gave us uh, uh, the electricity, the adapter. And you see what? Now I get this. This seems to be very short. And they gave us this to make it longer. Now this is really cool. Wow. Beautiful. So, you know this trouble, like, when this is not long enough, we got the two joypads here. Actually, uh, I have to say those joypads are pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I used them uh, ago with the Game Boy, and uh, I was never disappointed with them. Uh, the cross pad seems to be not so good at those, but those buttons are pretty good. I will check them out in a minute. Uh, but what I wanted to say is like for many devices uh, the thing is just too short it has to sit at the TV all the time but here we got really long cables which is pretty pretty nice a big advantage already and uh, yeah um, I would say let's plug it in and let's see how it is let's try the cartridge 29 in 1 guess you put it in here like this or oh, there is actually a list uh, behind but it's all written in Chinese <laughs> okay let's see hmm yeah you gotta fiddle around a bit here it's not really stable <laughs> okay let's get it plugged and see how it is okay so I just plugged in the cable here to the system and as you can see this cable is really super super long I have even more extension cord here but you have to be really careful those are the Chinese plugs and uh, if you want to play this in Europe uh, you gotta make sure you have this adapter because those Chinese sockets are quite different from the Western or the uh, European or the American ones. So let's see if this thing is working. Can we get a sign here? Yeah, there is a red light. And now we will put in the AV cable. So I just put in the three AV cables here on the console. I used the short cable because actually I got my TV here right in front of me. I actually don't even need the long cable. So uh, let's have a look. You put the AV cables here right into your TV like that. If you only have an HDMI one you need an adapter. I know this technology is kind of old but it's still very simple and working easily with most of the TVs and consoles and the screen is actually not too bad. So, I think this should work. Now let's check it out. To be honest with you, I did not try it yet. And I'm really anxious to see what is inside. Oh, this is really hard to get out. Hey, is there any reset button to release it? Oh, wow. Oh, this is super hard to get out. Gotta be really careful not to break it. Holy man. Okay, now we put in this cartridge, which 
hopefully is a big surprise. I did not try it before. So let's switch it on and let's see what is inside. 88 games in one, wow! So we, we really have more than 500 games here, beautiful. Golf, jewelry, no idea what that is. Chinese chess, Adventure Island, again. Wrestling, in castle, what the hell is in castle? Jungle Adventure, Adventure in the Sky, Adventure Tunnel, Adventure in the Sky, again. Hill Adventure, Jungle Adventure, there seems to be lots of adventures here. In castle, uh, everything here seems to be basically the same. Whoa, 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 this is kind of disappointing. Everything here seems to be the same, but Let's check it out before we judge too early. Uh, Adventure Island, okay. Yeah, that's the standard Adventure Island one. Yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, the graphics kind of suck, I gotta be honest with you. It was better in the Game Boy version, but it's playable. Let's check out some other games. Mm, Adventure C. Mm, is it the same one? No. Maybe that is. <laughs> it looks like the second level of Adventure Island. Okay, uh, that's. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing. Adventure in the Sky. Should we try that? Oh no, please, come on. Area 5. Oh, no way. Come on. In Castle. Oh, come on. All of those games are Adventure Island. Are you kidding me? Just different levels. <sighs> Hail Adventure, Julie. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Try it. Let's try wrestling. Oh my god, no, thank you. Okay, let's try something else. Hill Adventure 1. Oh wow. Okay. Area 8. Oh, yeah. So this is super disappointing. I didn't, I didn't expect this. All the same game. On one cartridge. What about Golf Pew? Uh, this is Golf for the NES, okay. Yep, uh, that's disappointing, I gotta admit. That's really, really disappointing. Adventure Island FQA. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's disappointing. Let me put in the other cartridge with the 400 games real quick. And I give you a short summary of the best games they have. So, to be honest with you, till now, this console was pretty disappointing and definitely, definitely not worth the money. But let's see what is playable on the 400 games in one cartridge. Maybe we got some better games here. I will just do a short summary for you for you. All the games are playable usually and not too bad. So we got Contra here, the original uh, Contra, Super Contra, nice. Then we got some Contra ripoffs, which are uh, most of the time not playable. This is Kage, a Chinese, uh, Japanese classic, very good game. You should definitely check this out. This is another game for the NES, also very good. I have to continue like that. Bugs Bunny Adventures, okay. This is nice, I don't know that. Uh, this seems to be Ninja Gaiden. One, two, three, okay. Double Dragon 1, Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon 3 and Double Dragon 4. Uh, Robocop, okay, this one is new. We got the Robocop 1 and the Robocop 2, not bad. I don't know that game. 
Another Robocop game? Adventure Island? Oh, please, not again. This is really annoying, this Adventure Island, man. Chip and Dale, cool, two players. Chip and Dale 2, nice. Uh, that's actually a, a nice game. Uh, it plays like Jekyll, but I don't know um, the European or the English name. It's a very good game. Uh, some fighting games here. Yeah, football. Okay, Ninja Turtles is beautiful. Okay, this seems like a weird Ninja Turtles ripoff. Ninja Turtles 4, let's play that. I've never seen that before. Oh, why did he jump like that? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Story versus player. Oh, ah, oh, that's the fighting game, right? Okay. Cool. I haven't played this game yet. Um, interesting. Whoa. Cool. Never played this game before. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's check out the other ones. What else is cool on this console? You can go faster like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, this stupid Street Final Fight 2010. Uh, I don't know that game. Uh, this looks pretty good. I think it's a fighting game, a real arcade one. Street Fighter, wow. I don't know this one. Yeah, this is a good game. Snow Brothers. I don't know this one. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, maybe this is the original one. Power Rangers. Oh, Duckwing Duck. Okay. Uh, that's a great game too. From Japan. That's a great shooting game. This is a great game too, Jekyll. Some Mario ripoffs. We already had that. I will just give you a short summary here. I think you can recognize the games on your own. Bomberman, Bomb Sweeper. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing really cool so far. Mario, uh, yeah, this is uh, Donkey Kong. All the classic Donkey Kongs are on there. F1. Hmm. Golf. Running games, sport games. Oh, this is uh, Ice Climber. Kung Fu, Load Runner. Some pool games, stupid chess games I don't like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pac Man. I don't know, Popeye. Arcanoid. Kung Fu. Badminton, tennis. This is the, there was this weird Japanese game. Well, to be honest with you, the only advantage of this console is that you can see all the games beforehand in this small short preview here. Oh, there was the original Mario. But I gotta tell you, so far I'm pretty disappointed. And oh, this is Mac Rider. Um, this console. 
Could this be Mega Man? Uh, so far, this console here is much, much worse than the Mogul M100A I already showed you on my channel. Um, those 500 games until now basically just suck. Uh, there is a few nice games like Contra, uh, Double Dragon, uh, Chip and Dale, right? Super Mario, some nice games, but it is definitely not worth the 30 euros I was spending for this console. That is, in fact, really disappointing look at that I can't see any any famous or nice games I know this seems to be really bad ripoffs mmm yeah, that's disappointing. Okay, this one looked kind of okay. I will play that later. If I find a game that's kind of uh, better than what I expected, I will let you know. Uh, oh, this seems to be Karate Kid. Uh, I will let you know if I find another game that was really surprising to me. Uh, but it looks like oh there's mathematic games oh holy crap yeah it looks really disappointing so this console is definitely not worth the 220 RMB I was paying um, big disappointment uh, this is Goonies uh, yeah it is a big disappointment and uh, it is not worth uh, not worth the money I spent the 30 uh, 30 euros or around 30 dollars not worth it don't buy it it's really bad but still I hope you liked the video I spent 30 euros for nothing uh, you should really watch my video about the small handheld which is far 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 better and this shit here I'm really disappointed now but this happens too uh, that was a real life video for you I didn't test I didn't test this before I didn't check it out before and I think you can hear it in my voice that I'm really kind of disappointed now and uh, I hope to, actually I really hope that I could uh, show you something neat here but nope this is not worth it Hope you liked the video, see you in the next video, and uh, bye bye, zaijian!